Curtis, Curtis Sprouls, company dancer at Pittsburgh Ballet. Nice to see you today. Thank you for having a drink with me. I know this is a big deal because for you dancers, this is like dinner, right? Now, I came here to Pittsburgh Ballet headquarters today to ask for your advice, really. Okay. Um, I, this morning, was looking in the mirror and I found one gray hair. And I know, and I said to myself, you know, Brian Edward, if you're going to be a professional ballet dancer, you really ought to like get working on that now. Yeah. Because I just don't know if you know I have a lot of time left. So how does this work? What do I need to do? Who do I need to talk to? Who do you need to talk mm -hmm. to? No. I would talk to about your gray hair. No. Oh. About I want I want to dance. I want, oh, I want dance. to be a professional we ballet start dancer. We coming to our open division, our like adult open division. Mm -hmm. um, we do offer a lot of classes um, during the week. I don't want to so. take not, not classes. Oh. I just want. Oh, to, you just want I, to just I'm ready to go. With us. Now I know you're probably looking at me and thinking this guy has no experience. Not at all. No. But you'd be right. <laughs> but if you put on the Amanda Lear Queen of Chinatown album. I have got a routine to every song on that album. I mean, that that could be a show alone. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know if it's ballet, but, but I, present, show. I present it for your consideration. So I know it takes a lot of work. You know, it's not just something you can jump into. So how, how long ago did you start? Well, I started when I was nine years old. Okay, I, I missed the boat a little bit. <laughs> Not by much, no, <laughs> not, not at all. You're so kind, <laughs> not by much. Uh, I mean, here I am, you know, at the ripe old age of 14, yes. <laughs> so I started when I was nine, and I just trained in a lot of different styles at first, just sort of trying to figure out what I wanted to do and, you know, sort of which path and dance I wanted to take. Mm -hmm. I knew that I wanted to take some path and dance, but um, as far as which style, and I sort of just stuck with me more ballet and contemporary movement. Um, and I really just enjoy it. I like how, um, athletic it is and how um, sort of difficult in ways um, and it really challenges me um, day to day and I, I really enjoy that. And I think that's something that we forget about I mean, really all of every ballet dancer that I have met know that you, they, you're athletes mm -hmm. you know yeah. and I think sometimes it gets a reputation for those who maybe don't know that oh it's very you know fluffy and yeah. light and you know mm -hmm. but no you all work yes, a lot. It is it is very hard. And I think it's you know tough. Well, it used to be. I think you know things are a lot more uh, accepting now. But I think it w was tough for guys that wanted to do it. You know, being a kid oh, into yeah. ballet was that difficult oh, for yeah. you? Um. Yes. Yeah. In ways, it, it was pretty difficult. Um, I did get picked on a little bit, but I knew that you know dance was what I wanted to do, and you know, I danced for myself, and I was going to pursue that no matter you know, what the other kids thought, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I wanted to do with my life, and yeah, so I just sort of ran with it. And here you are at Pittsburgh right Ballet. Today. I absolutely love it here. This is definitely like a new home for me, and I, I really enjoy coming into work every day and dancing with these artists. Everyone's incredibly uh, talented and encouraging. I, I just love it here. So as a company dancer, uh, you'll probably be in a lot of the shows for the season coming yes. up then, right? So what's the first thing that we have coming up here then that, that we can see you in? We have a mixed repertoire show um, coming up at, at the end of this month, and we are doing three different uh, works in this show. So it's sort of like a dance ambrosia. Yes, Okay. definitely. Um, and we're doing three actually very, um, very different works, a George Balanchine ballet, a William Forsyth um, ballet and a Yuri Killian work. Tell me about Western Symphony. Western Symphony. It is a George Balanchine ballet and it is a cowboy dance. We um, were all different um, cowboys and cowgirls and basically it's in a way it's a little bit of a party. We're all... I'll bet. Fun. Yeah. We're, it is very fun to perform and it is a little challenging um, to just do all the steps. Well, when I think of ballet and the cowboy genre, those are two things that I don't often see intertwining, but uh, apparently right. they do. They do, yeah. Um, George Valentine definitely put his own twist on sort of um, cowboys and made it work in a sense that it is just beautiful. 
Huh. Like it is, it is so much fun to just watch, but also to perform. We're all smiling. I cannot do the piece without smiling and you know running around and having a good time. Yeah, I'd probably be giggling myself. I mean, are you in like cowboy hats? Cowboy hats, chaps, yeah, and, uh, uh, fringe. A oh, fringe would a be A little cool. bit of... I don't wear any fringe, but yeah, there Imagine is Imagine those twirls and boom. There's fringe, big hats, feathers. Well, I, I, I think that's worth seeing. It is. It it would definitely be a favorite, <laughs> I think. And um, and then after that, we have Nutcracker. Oh, a Christmas favorite. Yes, definitely. And then uh, can we look even beyond that? I mean, now we're going to be in 2016 yeah. after Christmas, so... We have um, Peter Pan after that. Oh, which really? Be a fun, fun family show for everyone. I didn't know that was a ballet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh. we did, we actually did it a, um, a couple years ago, but we're bringing it back because it was such a fan favorite. Are people going to be flying? People will be flying really? around the stage. Now, have you ever been flown? I have before? not. I have not. I'm hoping I will get to at least try it out mm. and see and see how that is. Good luck. What do you think is the most difficult thing? for you about what you do. In other words, you know, as much as you love ballet, if you could change one thing. It's difficult. Wow. That is that is actually a hard question because there are a lot of um, difficult aspects. Um, I don't know that I would change very many though. I feel like that sort of just adds to the excitement. Mm, okay. And sort That's of, a very safe answer. That is a safe answer. Alright, but, but there's gotta be like a ballet move that when it comes up you're like, oh god, um, not this one again, please, no, <laughs> god, this is my weakness, this is my kryptonite. Um, I do have to say double tours are very hard for me. Now explain what that is. A double tour is where you jump up into the air and you spin twice and then land in a very perfect, pretty position. Oh, that's, that's a challenge for you, is it? What's it that? is It is a little challenging, but I work on them every day, so we'll, well see. you ought to see me do a, a triple tour. Oh, um, yeah, usually wow. it's at a bar. We uh, had uh, Terrence Orr on the show. Right. Uh, gosh, it was last year or the year before, mm -hmm. uh, before Nutcracker, and we talked a little bit about, you know, a, a, a ballet dancer's career, that you really kind of have this window mm -hmm. of time before you know things aren't working as right. well as they right. used to does that scare you does aging worry you does aging scare me um no no not right now no well I'm of course not now out. but no. let's stay tuned buddy yeah okay it, it definitely gets me thinking and gets me sort of like what else am i interested in that i could possibly make a career out of after this mm -hmm. so where do you see yourself in Five years, I do. Five years, um, hopefully still dancing, yeah, um, and still you know just working on my my artistry and um, hopefully still working with Pittsburgh Ballet Theater. Do you have a definition of yourself as an artist or of your own particular style? Of myself, um, that's pretty hard. I would say that um, I'm definitely. A mover. I definitely pick up. Well, that's. On. I think that comes with the territory. <laughs> hey, this guy's not moving. We gotta it look does. at his contract. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I definitely um, feel that I can pick up on m movement and especially um, contemporary movement um, very well. And I really enjoy doing uh, those types of works. Um, so I would say that I'm a very versatile dancer. If we were to put on some ballet jams right now, kind of like what. Uh, what would be the Sprouls uh, moves? Uh? Um, I don't know. I'm very um, smooth. Okay, I see that. You got to There yeah, we go. Yeah. All right. A little bit of, a little bit of head back and forth. Mm -hmm. You know. I um, took a good job being the yeah, city. All right. Like so I'm getting into it. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So you just taught me. Yes. You 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 can inspire greatness in others. I well, think that you, is yeah. one of your to put that on your resume. I will. I'll charge I will. you any royalties okay. on that. <laughs> allowed to eat? I am. Okay. I just want to make sure. Indigo Rose, also by Yuri Killian, um, mm. is another... I knew Indigo is, Rose. She was a good gal. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you'll see her hanging around on the corners downtown. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's terrible. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure it's a lovely... Piece. It's beautiful. That's what a lot of people said about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did once mm -hmm. take a ballet class. 
Oh, really? I was kicked out. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I pulled a groin muscle. It wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you.